Hi everybody, it's Heather from Cottontail Crafts. I uh, just thought I would jump on and show you what I've got made so far this week. Um, I do have a market this Saturday, so I will include some footage from that. Um, I think I might sort my plushies because I bought some new bins um, because my other ones are getting quite uh, ragged and the lids aren't snapping on anymore so I bought the the storage containers where there's like these fold up and clip onto the lid because um, so I just wanted to get some new storage so I bought three big bins um, so I have to I have to go through all my plushies and sort them because I have turtles in one bin turtles in another bin so I thought I'm just going to get some new storage bins and I'm going to sort them. So I plan on doing that, which I'll have to do pretty soon. Just going to fix my camera there. Okay, so um, I had these in the last video. I made, I made five more just because I think these are so quick and easy and I'm only going to sell them for $8. So I made five more. So... I have like 17 now. Um, I have a market this Saturday. It's in a busier venue um, than I'm used to, so I will let you know how that goes as well. Um, I made a couple of more of my octopuses that I like to make. Um, so I made two of those and I used glitter eyes because the black eyes didn't show up very well on him. So I made that. And then I have like little scrap bits that I'm trying to use up to so these are just gonna go in my little five dollar bin kids love these um, so I recommend uh, a five dollar bin whether it be octopus jellyfish um, kids love these uh, so I made five of those um, these this pattern I got from YouTube all from Jade I'll link it in the description below I'll link everything in the de description below okay I probably shouldn't have made more of these because I have a lot and I haven't sold that many of them but I seen this yarn at Michael's the other day and it's seasonal yarn so I know it won't be around for long and I just fell in love with these colors so I made more chickens and I only made two because um, the balls of yarn are small and you, it doesn't really go that far but I love the colors and I just I couldn't help myself so I made these chickens and of course the colors aren't showing up as nice on cameras what they are in person but it's like different variations of gray and then it's got a little bit of teal turquoise which is my favorite color so I seen this yarn and I, I just I couldn't resist and I decided to do his comb in gray instead of red because I just didn't think the red would look very good on on these chickens Ugh, my camera's crooked just hold on one second there that's a little bit better there we go okay so I made two more chickens this is from Oak and Marlowe on Etsy um, they're so cute like I, I just could not resist making more chickens even though I should stop I have a lot of chickens and if I do a sort of my stock you'll see how many chickens I have it's a lot Okay, so I had a customer at work the other day, and she's ordered from me before. Um, well, actually, my coworker ordered a clam from me, and she takes it to bingo. So her bingo friends wanted a clam. So I made some for this customer, and she's in work like a couple times a week. Um, she ordered a couple clams for me and she got them 
and her friend seen them and wanted some more clams so I had to make some more clams and she wanted black and white clam so I made a black and white clam I decided to do white on the inside because I thought white would get dirty really easily so I did black and white and she wanted the clam in beige so I made that one look at my puppy dog being a needy Nelly Milo we doing you doing? You just had your W. You should be good. What a sock. What a big baby. So I made a black and white clam with beige. And then the other clam she wanted purple and black. And she wanted the clam beige. So I made I made two more clams. Aren't they cute? You know what? Like I've heard other people say, you know what their best sellers are and honestly for me it's the clams like I live close to the ocean so maybe that's why so I made two more clams I gotta actually pack those up and take them to work uh, so the next thing I made um, it's a new pattern I bought off Etsy last week and I'll link it below because I can't remember the shop name I'm so bad for that and I use Bernat Blanket, which often I don't use for plushies, but of course I wanted to make them in pink. And the only pink I really had was Bernat Blanket, so I made it in pink. And he turned out so much bigger than what I thought he was going to. And in, in the picture, it looked really small. So I don't, she, she probably used thinner yarn. But I made this pig. And he turned out so good. Like, I love him. He's just, he's way bigger than I thought he was going to be. And I would love to make him in uh, Parfait Chunky. But I can't find Parfait Chunky online. I'm in Canada, and I've been struggling with getting yarn. Um, Mary Maxim is the only place in Canada that I know of that I can get the Parfait Chunky. And out of all the colors, the only color they have in stock is like a really light, light lilac color. So I'm just gonna stock the, sh the online shop every day and try to nab some whenever I can, but it's been super hard, um, very frustrating. And I know it's not just me, it's, you know, everybody is crocheting plushies and doing markets it seems, so. Yeah, but he is super cute, and I used um, pink glitter eyes because I, I, I just didn't want to do black. So I picked, I think these are 20 or 25 mils. I can't remember, but anyway, I got these off AliExpress. I have a video on where I buy my eyes from and how to install them because they're really hard to install. So I'll link that video in the description below. But isn't he cute? Um, and he probably would be a lot smaller in the Parfait Chunky. But I can't make one in Parfait Chunky because I'm going to do a pig in pink. I'm not going to do wild and crazy colors. And I know you can, you know. But yeah, so I made him. He's super cute. I love him. I'm sure somebody will snap him up pretty quickly. So I'll link that in the description below. But I probably I would like to make more, but I, I just want to wait for um, Parfait Chunky to come and stock with pink. I'll see what I have in the Michaels yarn for pink. I don't think I have any pink in the, the Michaels brand, but anyway. Um, and the pattern, um, the picture in the pattern showed a plushy pig. Uh, and then she had another pig that was done in like acrylic and she did a, the, the pig in pink and then she had the nose in like a variegated gray and I think she did his feet in variegated gray and it looks super cute but I don't think it would look as cute in the plush yarn um, as the acrylic so I don't know I'll have to check my stock and see what I have but um, this is, these are the only colors that I thought I had on stock that would work well, so. He's so cute. I love him. His name is Willie. 
So he's mine until he sells. We'll see. So um, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you some of the other things that I made this week. Um, they're not crocheted, but um, some people might be interested in seeing, you know, so we'll see. Um, you guys will have to let me know. If you're not interested in seeing the um, items that are not crocheted, um, what I can start doing is putting my non-crocheted items um, at the end of the video. So that way, if you don't want to see these, they're at the end of the video and you can just stop the video whenever. But uh, this week, I will add them in the mix of my filming. So I'm going to flip the camera around and then I'll show you what else I made this week. Okay, so back in January, I bought an embroidery machine. So I've been making these little zippered pouches and um, I'll show you the other sizes um, if I make more. But um, these are the medium size and the thing I like about this size is um, you can fit a gift card in it. Um, so I didn't have a lot of the medium size so I wanted to make some more this week for my market this weekend. And these are really quick and easy to do on my embroidery machine. They don't really take that long at all. Um, but I, I could probably do these on my sewing machine, but I am not a sewer and I have no patience for sewing. So I let my embroidery machine do all the work and maybe, maybe I'll throw, um, the next time I have it up and running, I'll take some video footage of my machine running too. But these are great because um, they're all lined inside. And you can play around with your zipper colors and what fabric you do on the inside. And these are quite addictive to do. Like, um, I've been having a lot of fun with these because, you know, fabric choices are so, so much fun. Um, this one I did, it's... Uh, Christmas and then inside I just did red and black checkered which I thought would look really good um, with that fabric this one it's kind of like a dark navy with white paw prints and I did a white zipper and I just did a white pretty um, fabric for the inside of that these are great for like little change purses you know um, this is a Nova Scotia tartan, so um, that's been pretty popular here because um, it's a province-themed fabric. And then I did bees inside because bees are another popular item. Um, and it's a great way to use up my yellow zippers because there's not too much that I have that goes with yellow. And there's yellow in the fabric, so... That works really well. And this is my favorite. It's got like little kitties on it. And I think I got this fabric at Walmart. Milo, you're being a needy Nelly. Like you need to relax. I'll be upstairs in a minute. And there's little pink like coral butterflies in the fabric. So I chose that fabric for the inside. So I like to mix and match. And this one I did a white zipper. And this one I did a gray zipper and I believe I did the same yeah I did the same fabric but these are so much fun and I like to do other crafts besides crochet so please let me know in the comments if if you're not interested in seeing my stuff that's not crochet let me know and I will make sure from now on that I will put my non crocheted items at the end of my video so you're not you know scrolling through just to see more plushies, because there will be more plushies. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've got so far, and this video will grow as the week goes on. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since I filmed. Um, I did get a few more things made, so I thought I would just pop on and quickly show you what I made. Um, I made a few more clams because I only have two in my inventory because all my clams I took over to my friend's floral shop. Um, 
And I love these little clams done in the rose color. Like, it's so, so cute. And these are popular. Like, people love them. Um, so I got two more clams done. Um, I made another turtle. I can't help myself. Um, this is my favorite turtle pattern, and it's from all from Jade on Etsy. Um, I have so many turtles, but um, every time I get new yarn colors, like I like to make a turtle and octopuses. And I love my eyes from AliExpress. Like, they really make the turtle pop. So, I did get another turtle done. Isn't he cute? I love him. And it's just like a black and white variegated shell and gray yarn. So, I did another turtle. He's so cute. And then, I was scrolling through Instagram uh, yesterday. And I came across this free pattern. And you can make four different, like, so it's a bird pattern, okay? And I can't remember the, the person who had this, but I will link it in the description below. Um, so you could do little, mal, mal, and I can't say this word, mal your ducks. <laughs> um, and I just had to make them. I don't know. They're so cute. So I made two little mal, mal, mal yard ducks. I don't know why that's such a tongue twister for me. And then I made two little yellow chicks or ducks or whatever. Um, and this one didn't have sprigs on the head in the picture. So I just added them because I think it's super cute. So I made two little yellow birds um, and it's the same pattern you just change the colors um, then there's these little chicks and I added combs to their heads um, I think she just did like little red sprigs like this but I actually wanted it to look like a comb like on a chicken so I think I did the same comb that I do on my other chickens so I made two of those. So I made two of each, and there's four different birds. Um, and then the last one, it is so flippin' adorable. Little bald eagles. <laughs> I love them. Oh my gosh, these are too cute, you guys. Um, and she only has, um, I think when she posted this pattern on her... Um, Instagram she only um, she had just said that she finally made it to 300 followers so please go give her a follow um, I would really appreciate it because these are so stinking cute they're so easy to do um, part of me wants to charge ten dollars for these but I don't know if I'll get I think I'm gonna have to sell them for eight just because they were they're, they're so small but they worked out really quick so I even think, you know, $8 a piece is, you know, I think they'll sell fast at $8. I don't know that I can get 10 in my area. You may be able to, but for me, I think I'm going to have to sell these probably for $8. <clears throat> so I, I got all these made yesterday after my work shipped um, while I was watching my hockey game. Um, yeah, so I got those made. So that's what I've got made so far this week. Um, boy, I have a craft show tomorrow, so I will try to slip in some footage from that. Um, just hold on one minute. Okay, so I'm going to flip my camera around, and I'm going to show you my disaster of a craft room. And it's a little embarrassing, but it is what it is. Um, so it, right now it is uh, 8.30 in the morning, and I have to work at 1. I work 1 to 5, and then I have a lot of stuff to do before my craft show tomorrow. So I'm just going to flip the camera. Well, actually, I'm going to 
not flip it around. Um, I'm just going to take it off my stand and I'll just do a quick little tour. And again, this is embarrassing because it's a mess. Um, actually, I'm going to go turn this light off because I don't want to blind you all. Um, the lighting in my room is really, really bad. Here, um, I'm going to open my curtains, let some more light in. But um, when I'm trying to film, if I have my windows open, it's just like a glare from the window. Sorry for that crazy footage. Um, so when you first walk in my craft room, this is what I have. We and my craft room used to be, I used to be able to keep my craft room neat and tidy until I started getting into fabric and vinyl that I use on my embroidery machine. So this is just a dumping ground. This table here is another dumping ground. Um, this is where I film my overhead videos. Um, I just have some just junk. It's junk, honestly. Um, this is the stuff I use most often, like there's bone folders, pens, um, punches, that kind of stuff. Um, that's where I film. My husband made me a pegboard for my stuff. That's not even organized how I want it. Um, there's my embroidery machine. This table is a disaster. It's just a dumping ground of fabric, vinyl, a printer that doesn't even work anymore. I need to get rid of that. Um, I have a polymer clay oven because I used to do lots of earrings, which I haven't touched in probably since I bought my embroidery machine. Under my table, this is all stuff that I've lost interest in but a lot of it is Christmas stuff left over from last year. So I have to sort through that and go through that. But what I have to do today is I have two big bins of critters. I have two small bins of critters. And this is the stuff that usually holds the onesies and twosies and the smaller items because I hate trying to find like little things mixed in with my big bins but um so everything in here is priced um so i have to go through all these bins and sort because i know they're when i'm packing up from a market i'm just in a rush because i just want to get home and i don't always reorganize as i pack up uh this whole bin right here that's recent makes uh those all have to be tagged uh, that bag is overstock and this is just overstock as well so though these are my old bins um, the lids don't even stay on anymore um, but honestly I don't even know how I can downsize I don't even know how I can down downsize to be honest um, I don't know I'll have to let you know how this works out but I have this awesome wall unit that my husband built me. Um, and he built that for me. I had just joined Stampin' Up. So of course it was designed for Stampin' Up paper, stamp sets, inks, you know. I don't even know if I could convert it to anything but what I had it designed for. But I still do greeting cards. My friend has a floral shop and my cards are on consignment at her floral shop. So. I do still make the cards, so I feel like it's not a total waste. But I'm going to do a little bit of sorting, and I have to price these here, and then I'll be back to show you my progress. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I've got a little bit of sorting done. Um, so this is what I've I've got all my pricing done. Um, the first bin here it's all turtles nothing but turtles in this bin um, so I have a lot of turtles but I have a lot of different size turtles too like I have 
uh, $25 turtles. I have $35 turtles. I have a couple of $40 turtles, and they are my bigger turtles, which are buried in the bottom of the crate here. But I have like $15 turtles. Like I have all different size turtles. So I have lots of different price points for people, which people don't mind spending money. Some people, they're on a budget. So first bin is all turtles. Uh, the middle bin, that's all my bigger plushies. So I have my big cat that looked nothing like the pattern. But I made a mouse, attached it to him. Hopefully he'll sell. I got my panda bears, my pig, my cows in this bin. So this bin's going to be for big plushies. This bin, I have leggy froggies. I have squids. I have a couple of whales. I have a couple of axolotls, and then I have my geckos. So that's what I sorted in this bin. So I'm trying to sort stuff so that when I'm packing up, like certain plushies are going to go in certain bins. Uh, this bin here, it's all octopuses. And I have, I have one jellyfish that hasn't sold. Um, and I've had him for quite a while, so I might take five bucks off him just to get him gone but these are all my ten dollar octopuses um, these ones I do have price because I put them on the top of my um, zippered pouch display so I feel like the acrylic um, octos that's why those are priced but all these ones are not priced they go in a little basket um, and then I have my my big octopuses and my mama octopuses so all my octopuses and my one jellyfish are in this bin and that's what I think is going to work for me um, then these two bins this one is fall Halloween um, so basically after this market tomorrow this stuff can be packed away for next year um, I might take out my spiders and put them in another bin because I think these are so cute and I think these you can put out any time of the year but everything else is pretty much Halloween like I have a couple of bats left over from last year I marked them down to 20 they were 25 they still haven't sold like it's hard to know what will sell and what won't sell like my zombies did pretty good I think I only have two left but I'm not making any more like I'm done with Halloween this year. This bin is onesies and twosies. So my little caterpillar dude, she went in here. And for the, oh, I told you I had a lot of chickens. Like, <laughs> I have a chicken problem, you guys. And it's so funny because I've maybe sold like three since I started making them, but I keep making them. Like, why do I keep making them? Like, I don't know. I, I just think they're so stinking cute and I can't help myself. So I'm ready for the chicken army wars that have been going around on TikTok because look at my posse. So stinking cute. So I got little chickens. For $8, I have uh, $12 chickens. Um, the Michaels year and I did $12 chickens because they turned out a little bit smaller than these chickens. These are $15. Um, I think some of these chickens are 20 The bigger chickens are 20 The furry chickens, I put 25 just because they were such a pain to do. Um, you cannot see your stitches with the, the furry yarn. Um, so yeah, this is my chicken army. These these chickens, um, like these are so stinking cute. Um, this is a tutorial on YouTube. Um, they're so stinking adorable. So I got to stop making chickens. And you guys got to hold me accountable if you see any chickens in new upcoming makes. Like, make me stop. Make me stop. But yeah. Those are my chickens. Oh, yeah, I got to find a bin for them to go in. Oh, my goodness. Well, I won't be taking them all to the market. I'll just pick out like a few of each size and colors and probably put them in this bin here. These are Mushy Boys. 
my bees, and my bunny rabbits that I made. Oh, I have, um, I also have two alpacas too. Um, and they're really cute. I had five, so three, well, no, I have a couple over at Lisa's, my, uh, at the floral shop. So I think I've sold two alpacas so far. So I'm gonna pack some chickens in this bin because I definitely don't need to take all these to my market just because they haven't been selling. So I think I'm pretty safe to say I'll just bring a few and the rest can stay at home. Um, and then the only thing I have left is this little pile here. And these are not gonna get priced because these are gonna go in little bins on my table. Oh, I gotta price those two clams, so. I'll price those and I'll probably put them in my octopus bin and I'll put them in a little baggie so that my little clams don't get like moved around too much but that's my stock so far so this will probably be it I'll show you a little bit of footage from the market and then I'll tell you how I did and we'll see you soon just thought I'd do a quick video. I'm just here setting up and there's like lots and lots and lots of vendors here today. <laughs> oh my, yeah. So I will check back in a bit. Okay, I'm all set up here. It's my zipper pouches. I have a little bit of empty space, so I might just throw some more plushies down. So I'll let you know how I make out later. Hi everybody, so it's the day after the market. So I just thought I would jump on and let you know how I made out. Um, <clears throat> apparently, like I was talking to the other vendors day yesterday and they were saying usually that the fall markets aren't as busy as the Christmas markets. So, um, which kind of made me feel a little bit better because um, I did good, like I did good, but um, I was expecting a little bit better, but I'm set up there next weekend for the whole weekend. So Saturday and Sunday. And it's the first official Christmas market for me of the year. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, there were other crochet people there. I think there was two other vendors and then there were me. So there was three of us. Um, and... I, I hope when you see other people doing the same craft as yourself that you don't feel negative or competition or anything like that because even though we all sell crocheted items like most of us had mushy boys most of us had octopuses um, jellyfish turtles you know that kind of thing but we all use different colored yarn, like we all use different types of yarn. So it's all different. Even though it's the same, it's different. Um, there was a sweet crocheted vendor there um, and she was there last year and she's amazing. Like she sent somebody to my table because she only had one turtle and she watches me and she knows how many turtles I have. So <clears throat> she sent somebody my way and they bought a turtle. So if somebody comes up to my booth wanting something for a baby, well, my most of my stuff has safety eyes and that's not safe for babies. So I'm going to send them to her. Like help out your local vendors. Like we're all there for a good time and sales. And I think it's amazing, right? Like I try not to be negative. Like 
help help your local vendor. She's amazing. I'll see if I can get some footage of her next week if she'll let me. Um, uh, so um, I'm just gonna quickly break down. Um, I'm not gonna say like I sold one of these. One, of, I'm just gonna quickly break it down because um, before I started filming this video, I was at 30 some minutes, so I don't want to go over you know 40 if I can help it. Um, so I had. I sold $419 yesterday. Um, $44 was my zipper pouches. Um, I sold out of the Nova Scotia Tartan, so I have to make more of those this week. Um, I did $187 in crochet. And then I had a, a customer that watches my videos every week and she always messages me like put this aside put this aside so um she had like 150 dollars picked out so i took that with me um and then when she came to pick up her order she bought more stuff so she tacked on like another 38 dollars so her order came to 188 dollars so um so that really helped my day like thank you i appreciate that that just made me so happy um, so let me see so yeah so I did a total of $419 um, my table fee was 40 um, square fees were seven dollars and 18 cents um, I did three hundred and forty three dollars in square so technically I only I only did seventy six dollars in cash so if you don't have a square you need to get one yeah and usually I do more in cash, but yesterday I didn't. Um, so, yeah. So that's how I did. So I, I did really good. Um, and I just want to say, like, it makes me so happy when I see people come up to my table and they instantly smile. Like, I don't think I had anybody that walked up up to my table without a smile on their face. So it just goes to show you how plushies make you happy. Like kids, even adults, adults would come up to my table and see a chicken and just smile, even though I didn't sell any chickens. Well, it's up to, it's up to my special customer. She had a couple chickens put aside. But yeah, no, so what I did sell, um, I sold a couple mushy boys, I sold a couple of birds, a um, couple octopuses, I sold a couple turtles. Um, I didn't sell no axolotls and I didn't sell any chickens. And yeah, I was surprised, I was surprised. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I do have to go to Michael's later today because the manager bought a turtle I used to work there, so I know her very well. Um, so I have to drop this off to Michael's later today for her because she already paid me. Um, so I'll probably go check out the iron section, even though I think with my Christmas market next weekend, I'm gonna go to Atlantic Fabrics and I'm gonna buy some Christmas fabric because I wanna make some Christmas ornaments on my embroidery machine because I spent a lot of money on that machine and I have not made my money back. And it's my first season with the machine so I really need to get some embroidery done. Um, and I find too like now that so many people are doing the plushies um, and there's going to be a lot of people doing what you do at the markets especially this time of year. Um, I like to have more than just crochet on my table. Um, I, I, I sell a lot of beaded spiders at Christmas time. Um, I sell them for $15 a piece or two for 25 and it adds up, like it adds up pretty good. So, um, yeah, so I'm still going to crochet at night because I like to do that while I'm watching TV. Um, but yeah, like it made me really happy to see all the smiles when they came up to my table. That made me really happy. So even though your sales are not that great, like just, just enjoy seeing other people smile when they come up to your booth. Like plushies make people so happy. 
and you don't know what people are going through. A lot of people are going through a lot right now. So if you can bring a smile to somebody's face, even though they didn't spend any money, like it just makes me happy. It makes me really happy. But anyway, I'm at seven minutes just in this little segment alone. Um, so my video is going to be close to 40 minutes. Um, so I hope you just watch me and crochet and enjoy. That's all I want. I just want to bring joy to people. So I'm going to drop this little fella off later. And my pig, Willie, he did not sell. So I still have him for the next market. He's going to, I think he's going to become my little mascot, I think. We'll see. Anyway, have a great day, everybody, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.